I go, <laughs> hey, buddy. <laughs> I always forget that rock things can stay like that. Hey, Geeks Rally here, and thanks for joining me today as we play some more Ark Survival Evolved. We are continuing our Patreon-based tours here on the Island Vanilla server. You can see a little house over a corner there. This is the Hot Springs Community Center. Uh, this one is a little bit more spread out than the last one we looked at. So uh, if you guys haven't been paying attention to the episode so far, we're getting close to do a full cluster right for the new expansion next month when it comes out. Uh, assuming it comes out when they say it's going to. <laughs> Uh, but we thought that we would kind of do a quick tour around some of the uh, some of the cool builds that people have put together so far on the uh, the base on the island servers here, well, and on the uh, Scorched Earth server and stuff, too, in aberration because these will all be going away soon. So uh, we kind of just want to kind of just do a quick little little peek in some of these places. So some of these people aren't actually patrons anymore; they're not actually playing with us. Uh, this is John, and I believe this is John and Nim's place. Yeah. So they built together. Uh, Dim's got herself like a nice little kitchen over here. I think we've got ourselves a little like apartment deal up top here. So you can kind of see we've got some, some beds and stuff, which is pretty neat. And then this back here is where dino storage was done. So they've, they had a, like a communal area for that. That's what that gate was there in the front that we saw. And then over here is actually the workshop is up top. Let's see if I can get up here. And there is a workshop right up here, which is pretty neat. It's kind of just tucked away real, you know, real nice up here in the top. Very cool, like, house-like build. Um, one of the things that, you know, it can be hard to do in ARC sometimes is, you know, not building just weird boxes and stuff. They did a good job of kind of mixing uh, a bunch of that stuff and that, the shapes and stuff to give it a cool, like, house feel to it. So, very nice. Oh, there's even a little ladder on the outside here. What's up here? Just another way up to the little roofy roof. Perfect. That'll make things easier to get to the next one. Slide around the corner. So that over there is the green obelisk. We are, I guess I should show you guys where they're actually at here, shouldn't I? Take a look at the map here. So we're over here uh, just north of the Irby Island. Uh, there is actually a cave uh, down that direction, uh, which is why this is called the Hot Springs. Um, this, I believe, is Oni's place, and Oni did a really good job of, like, building into these ruins up here so check this out like the ruins they have the like the walls are like right into the ruins here uh and, and it's that way like all the way around so like you can see the ruins over here you can see they built like a little storage into it a little workshop on the outside the nice place about this is that this place is relatively chill so you can kind of get away with putting some of your stuff on the outside like this too so a nice little kitchen area in here we got some food nope got some eggs so living area and check out this wall like see what i'm saying like it's built into the wall so you, the the ruins are part of this build which i always thought was really cool uh and this is the way out oh no okay it's another room back here look at like a little root cellar is what it looks like to me and a way out to sunshine and then there is also an upstairs nice little house like feel right but then if we go out bam, we got ourselves a little deck a little sun deck Looks up at the uh, the obby built into the ruins here as well. Very neat. And that was uh, I didn't know if I could see on that or not. That's that cool like uh, foliage uh, ivy ceiling. It's really I really like the ivy ceiling. It's pretty cool. All right, so yeah, Oni's place. I dig that it's just built right into that. There's an explorer note for you if you if you haven't got that before. Um, I don't know what this. I don't think this was actually Oni that built this. If it was, maybe it was just a place for, like, you saw the sheep. So maybe it was just a place to get wool and stuff. All right, we'll keep continuing around here a little bit. Dive right into this. This is uh, Jeeps or Phoenix's place. Um, kind of go by both names here. Uh, built right here at the edge. So they've got, you know, a nice little kitchen as you walk in. A little bit of a living area. A little scary closet. <laughs> our stairway up up here we've got a, a like definitely uh you know like kind of like the like a nice entertaining space Just sit out here look at the beautiful view that looks out to the uh the island the doorway into a bedroom okay Ooh, some personalized storage up here all right so i'll make sure <laughs> and that can we, we can get out this way here Got ourselves a nice little deck that overlooks this uh, little inlet uh, area, which is really cool. 
Let's shoot back in here. And I think, if I remember correctly, when you, yeah, right down there. Built a really cool little, like, uh, communal bonfire type area. Okay, that's a little scary. <laughs> so you got some benches and stuff back here. And then this is a bonfire pit that's put inside a flower pot, which is pretty cool. Like, it's a nice way to get that to look like a, a real big, cool, uh, you know, bonfire section. You can just kind of sit around. And then the idea is people would sit out here and just kind of hang out, you know? And have the uh, the nice view back here. God, I do. This game is so pretty. Uh, I think I've said this before, but like those those ships you see down there, those are part of the advanced draft mod. You can actually just build ships to kind of sail around on, which is nice. Let's shoot. I don't remember if there's anything farther that way, but I know there's definitely one here. Can we get up there from this side? Okay, let's go around a little bit. I think that that's the back of the the section. Yeah, yeah. I think I think I'm stuck. So we'll glide around. There we go. Okay, this is the way up. I think if I remember correctly, this was Sunner's place. So you get yourself a little kitchen area back here. Around the corner, have a nice little deck that looks out towards the ocean. Gorgeous. And then up here is sleeping area, maybe? Yeah, okay, sleeping area. Some extra storage up here. And then we've got like another section back here as well. This is like a spare bedroom storage area. Decided. Can I get down here? Ooh. Okay. Ooh, okay, what's in here? Ooh, okay. AC and a bunch of storage. It's nice. Tucking away storage is always important in this game. Uh, and then we've got this nice wraparound deck that goes all the way around using the, the docks from Advanced Rav 2, which I really like the docks for that mod. And then if I remember correctly, yep, there is a nice, like, roped-in area back here, which I thought was really neat. That This actually takes you back to, like, their workshop. So there, Sunner's... Uh, there's a little pathway down here to his forge. And then hidden amongst the brush is the workshop. So you got all the work stuff, uh, workshop stuff you need back here. Everything wired in, too. It's pretty cool. All right, let's go back out towards the front. I think the rest of this is either down by the beach, down by the beach pond, or it is um, tucked in just above it. That spot underneath as we're going over top of is a thorny dragon storage area that is now emptied of thorny dragons. Yes, yeah, so we've got a couple buildings down here still too. Let's uh, we'll peek up here first. I think this is pretty close to where we started up here. And I think it's just, yeah, it's just kind of a platform. It's just got some basic stuff on the inside for people to kind of crash in. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Let's take the ramps and stairs down over on this side. What is... Oh, there's stuff in those little crate deals. I, I feel kind of bad about that. Okay. <laughs> I never noticed that before. All right, so very, very colorful stuff on the way down. Look at all this stuff. Man, very cool. All right, uh, let's go. I think, I mean, it looks like there's a big front deal here. This must be like the communal workshop. So we've got, oh, so hey, there's Kimmy level six. <laughs> uh, so yeah, you got the grinder and stuff up there. A lot of storage. This looks like it's kind of a forge area for us here. And you've got a bunch of crafting benches and stuff out here. So yep, communal crafting area. This looks to be either a boathouse or somebody's actual house. Couple wolves outside. This is Lizzie's place. All right. Ooh, open the door. Got some nice wolves out here. A couple of tech rexes. Well, those are the boss ones. These are some of the ones they use for boss battles and stuff on here. This is nice. Okay. Let's see, was there more? It looked like it was taller. There is. Okay. Let's head up here a little bit. Nice bedroom action up here. Very cool. And a nice little back deck. 
All right. We're getting pretty close to the point I'm going to have to leave you guys behind until light comes back. Um, this is dino storage, it looks like, for, like, Dodicarus and stuff. So that's where the Hot Springs community left their uh, videos. Oh, hey, little, hey, little clothing tail. What's up? Oh, that is a really cool little way up there. Here's the transmitter that we're using over here. Let's just do a quick check on this. Oh, this is Leo's outpost over here. So, uh, Leo Wolf, this is where she, uh, she kept all her stuff. <laughs> got some got some wyvern rings kind of hanging through there. Very nice, though. Some nice, uh, some nice dinos kind of kept inside because he can just walk right in here, which is cool. Ramp right down to the water so you can pull right up with your raft. This is cool. I love, I don't know, just there's something about the wooden stone look. You guys know me. I'm a sucker for that stuff. This looks like this is mostly an empty storage thing. Okay. So let's go ahead and follow up the uh, the ladder here real quick. And then what we'll do is we'll probably... I think we might go a little longer than normal today. And we'll go check out another community center too. So the last one we did one community center. This one we're going to try to do two of them, I think. <laughs> I love when the ladder and like ramps and stuff are like organically built into the side of the, the place you're going. Oh, look at all the lights over there. Nice work. Okay. I'm going to leave you guys here in the firelight. And I will go find another community center. I think we'll go to uh, the Hidden Lake Community Center next. That's a platform community center. So we'll go ahead that way next. You guys can see what the geeks kind of built over there. And, uh, yeah, we'll keep, we'll keep on checking out these cool bases and stuff. All right. We are over at the Hidden Lake. Take a look. So we are at uh, everyone has kind of built up on platforms here. Uh, there's not a huge amount of them because uh, we had kind of people, like I said, clearing stuff out. But we definitely have a couple open ones here. Uh, we're going to kind of just bypass the couple that are open and hit the ones that actually have stuff on them. <sighs> okay. This looks like I think this is White Knight's place as well. I know we saw one of those at the Cascade Village, too. Yeah. Oh, his vacation home. Ooh, fancy pants. So nice use of space in here. Big open platform. Put all the uh, the kind of kitchen stuff right here in the center for it. Uh, got like a little safe deal over there. Come up here. Oh, blue light. Look at you, you pretty bird. A uh, little home space up here. Very nice. And then we got a ladder. Going. <laughs> hey buddy <laughs> i always forget that rock drinks can stay like that oh that was funny <laughs> so nice little rock drink up here so really nicely colored dinos for sure um look man look at that cyan on this uh on this tapahara that's gold very cool uh so that's a nice place you got there white knight Ooh, he's even got some upside down uh sloped roofs to get that underbelly kind of going there uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know if there's a name on this or not. This is just an open shell right now. So, which is all I'll ever look out to be now. <laughs> uh, there are definitely, um, there's a couple of spots on here where you can see that they've got, um, like zip lines. There's a couple of zip lines that are over that direction. They go up and down too. But yeah, the whole goal here was to leave the bottom part open so things could still spawn down there. Um, like beavers and beaver dams and stuff so they can kind of keep using those resources so everyone built up in these little platforms which is pretty neat um, I think that to get into this next one oops we need to actually go over um, over this direction to get up there so we're gonna go with one of these oh not quite enough oh, okay maybe not Looks like we've got ourselves a, uh, a stairway here, so we'll head this way. Beaver, don't get mad at me. Don't get mad at me. <laughs> so I believe this is where they actually did all of the, like, they, they did some dino storage and stuff up here. So even the, the dino storage was built up off the ground uh, to keep all the spawns and stuff clear. So um, not a ton of stuff here now, obviously, because we're moving stuff around, but uh, definitely where they kind of kept all that. This is... <laughs> this is in's glass house. Um, 
And it is just that. It's a big glass house. <laughs> uh, so nothing in here now. Um, but a big, big glass area. Very cool looking. Imagine if you just cleared all of these up so you could just, I mean, like, just made them so they're just clear. Be a giant, amazing view over here. All right, let's head on over. We've got two more to look at, guys. And then we'll wrap this episode up. Uh, can we get over this way, that way? Probably not. One of these. Oh, okay. Not quite as far as I was hoping we'd be able to do this. Hoot, hoot. That'll work. <laughs> All right, so we've got a cool looking, like, this is like the house kind of built into the, the spot that you can see some zipline action like we were talking about. Oh, and a rope ladder that goes down. Oh, nice. All right, let's take a look here. Mailbox. Okay, so can I create a little kitchen area, a little dining area, a little tiny workshop. Ladder that goes up to, I assume, a bedroom, right? Yep, okay, bedroom. Oh, this must be Melly's place. That's Mel's. Uh, and then we've got just a door out to a little landing. Very cool. There's a half wall there. I was like, what is going on? It's a half. <laughs> sneaky, sneaky, so I can't fall off. Which is, as we saw from that aberration video, very easy for me to just fall out of what I'd expect to be a wall. All right, let's get up here. Okay, that comes out to the back of the little cliff face here. All right, I think all that leaves us then is the actual communal area. So we will head down that direction. Oh, too far. So you can see we've got a zip line down here that will take people up. Uh, and then these are some nice big dynamic pillars to kind of make the place beefy. Uh, this is the teleporter that brought us over here. The Hidden Lake Community Workshop. So I like this pathway up here. It's got little lights and stuff in it. That's awesome. Wide enough you can get dinos up here if you needed to, which is good. Man, look at the view of these places. How cool is this? Okay. I'll come up this direction. Oh, we got a little citron up here. Nice. Ooh, and a nice big open workshop. Look at this, got ourselves a feeding trough, oil barrel, we've got ourselves a grinder, some of the nice eco mod decorations and stuff on here. There's like little little desks that look out towards the village here. That is awesome, look at this, little chairs in each of these. That's great, and then the color coding uh, for all of these, which is nice. So thatch, wood, very cool. Chem benches here, nice, nice community area. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna go on a limb and say that uh, Maybe Jen built this place because I believe I've seen that used. Yep, <laughs> see owner Jendaya has to say, I believe I've seen her use that little uh, like pocketed uh, glass light like that before. Oh, look at that raptor out there. What's wrong, buddy? Can't you get up here? Look at him. <laughs> you scary little jerk. You can't see me, can you? <laughs> Very cool. All right, so that's the communal base, uh, the community kind of the um, the workshop. Very nice. All right, so uh, we got to see two community centers today here on the Geek Servers. We got to check out the Hidden Lake area and the Hot Springs community uh, centers there. So after this, I think we're going to start heading out to see some individual bases uh, along our list there. You guys can check out some of the, the geek builds that have been there. Uh, and have kind of progressed on our servers here. Uh, the island is one of the ones that um, doesn't get as much crazy play as like Ragnarok or Scourged Earth, obviously, but definitely some cool stuff here. Uh, if you guys have enjoyed the episode, feel free to drop a like below. You can always subscribe for more content. And if you want to join the geeks, uh, just remember, it's definitely not a hard thing to do. Uh, you can jump on patreon.com slash rawthegeek or patreon.com slash UTC. Uh, and like I said, we've got a clean cluster wipe coming up. So good time to join if you guys want to. Uh, if not, just, you know, hang out with us. Just jump in the Discord. General chat's open to all. You guys are always welcome to hang out and talk with us. All right. I will catch you on the flip side.